This sign means A. Stop ahead. B. Buggy warning. C. Limited parking. D. Do not block intersection. A. Stop ahead. Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign tells drivers that there is an upcoming stop sign and that they should prepare to come to a complete stop before proceeding. This sign means A. Slow down if an emergency vehicle is approaching. B. Look both ways as you cross the intersection. C. Always come to a full stop at the intersection. D. Slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary. D. Slow down and be prepared to stop if necessary. Decrease your speed as you approach an intersection with a yield sign. Prepare to stop and yield the right of way to vehicles and pedestrians in the intersection or crossroad. You must come to a full stop at a yield sign if traffic conditions require it. This road sign means A. You are about to enter a one-way street the wrong way. B. School crossing ahead. C. Do not drive in this lane. D. Traffic turning left on the green light must yield to oncoming traffic. D. Traffic turning left on the green light must yield to oncoming traffic. This sign is used with a traffic signal to tell drivers that left turning traffic does not have the right of way and must instead wait for oncoming traffic to clear. At a school crossing sign, you should A. Always stop, whether there's a stop sign or not. B. Watch for children and be ready to stop. C. Always sound your horn when you see children. D. Be ready to help children crossing the street. B. Watch for children and be ready to stop. You must always yield to pedestrians who are in or about to enter a crosswalk. Be alert to pedestrians when driving across intersections or turning. Want to issue DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. When approaching a traffic signal displaying a flashing yellow arrow, drivers a. Should merge into a lane in the direction of the arrow. B. Should come to a complete stop. C. May turn left after yielding to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. D. Have the right of way and may expect oncoming traffic to stop for them. C. May turn left after yielding to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. A flashing yellow arrow indicates that left turns are allowed in the direction of the arrow. However, the oncoming traffic has a green light and you must yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. You may drive around or under a gate that is being lowered or raised at a railroad crossing. A. As long as an approaching train is not too close. B. If your vehicle can do so without damaging the gate. C. If you first look carefully in both directions. D. Under no circumstances. D. Under no circumstances. Flashing red lights, lowered crossing gates, and or bells at a railroad crossing mean that you must come to a complete stop. You must not go across the tracks until the lights and bells have stopped and the crossing gates are completely up. Do not drive around or under a gate that is moving up or down. This sign means A. Trucks under 18,000 pounds. Allowed. B. Hill ahead. C. Truck stop ahead. D. No trucks allowed. B. Hill ahead. This sign warns that there is a steep hill ahead. You should signal to turn. Fill in the blank. Before beginning your turn, 
A. 20 feet. B. 50 feet. C. 100 feet. D. 300 feet. C. 100 feet. When you wish to change lanes or make a turn, signal to inform other motorists of your intention. Signals should be activated at least 100 feet before you make the turn. Continue signaling until you have completed the turn or lane change. A diamond-shaped sign is a A. Road hazard sign B. Interstate route sign C. School crossing sign D. Speed limit sign A. Road hazard sign Warning signs are normally diamond-shaped and yellow, although orange warning signs are used in work areas. Such signs warn that you are approaching a hazardous location or an area where special rules apply. This sign means A. Roundabout ahead. B. Lane ends, merge left. C. Turn around. D. Curve ahead. A. Roundabout ahead. This sign indicates that a roundabout is ahead. Enter a roundabout at a low speed and yield to existing traffic. This sign means that A. A community service group is picking up trash along the highway ahead. B. Workers are on or very close to the road in the work zone ahead. C. Children are at play ahead. D. There is a pedestrian crosswalk ahead. B. Workers are on or very close to the road in the work zone ahead. This sign indicates that workers may be on or very close to the roadway ahead, so you should take special care when traveling through the area. A single broken yellow line down the center of a two-lane road indicates A. Lanes are moving in opposite directions and drivers are not permitted to pass. B. Lanes are moving in opposite directions and drivers are permitted to pass when it is safe to do so. C. Lanes are moving in the same direction and drivers are not permitted to pass. D. Lanes are moving in the same direction and drivers are permitted to pass when it is safe to do so. B. Lanes are moving in opposite directions and drivers are permitted to pass when it is safe to do so. Yellow lines are used to separate traffic moving in opposite directions. Dashed lines indicate that drivers directly next to the line are permitted to pass when it is safe to do so. This sign means A. No left turn. B. Flagger ahead. C. Two-way left turn. D. Turn right or go through. A. No left turn. Regulation signs regulate traffic speed and movement, displaying rules which drivers must obey. This regulation sign means that left turns are prohibited. This sign means A. All traffic must turn left. B. No left turn. C. No U-turn. D. Truck route to the left. B. No left turn. This sign indicates that left turns are prohibited. The most common color of warning signs is A. Red. B. Yellow. C. Green. D. Blue. B. Yellow. Most warning signs are diamond-shaped and yellow with black markings. These signs warn drivers about unexpected conditions that may not be readily apparent. If you are driving on a one-way street and an emergency vehicle using its flashing lights approaches your vehicle, you must A. Drive with your flashers turned on. B. Drive toward the nearest roadside and stop. C. Speed up and take the nearest exit. D. Slow down until the vehicle passes you. 
B. Drive toward the nearest roadside and stop. If an emergency vehicle using its lights or siren approaches while you are driving on a one-way street, you must drive toward the nearest roadside and stop. When two vehicles arrive to an intersection at the same time, which one has the right of way when no signs or signals indicate rules? A. The car approaching from the right has the right of way. B. The car approaching from the left has the right of way. C. The car in which the driver sounds his horn first has the right of way. D. The car that is traveling the fastest has the right of way. A. The car approaching from the right has the right of way. At an intersection of two similar roads without a traffic control device, a driver must yield to a vehicle approaching from the right. Is it legal cross a double solid yellow centerline to pass? A. Yes. B. No. C. If there is no oncoming traffic. D. If the vehicle ahead of you is driving under the speed limit. B. No. Two solid yellow lines down the center of a two-way road mean that neither lane of traffic may cross the lines, unless they are turning off of the roadway. A driver can cross double yellow lines when turning into or out of a driveway or entrance to a business. No passing is allowed over a solid yellow line. A red flashing traffic light has the same meaning as a A. Solid red light B. Stop sign C. Yield sign D. Caution sign B. Stop sign. A red flashing traffic signal has the same meaning as a stop sign. When approaching a red flashing signal, come to a complete stop and proceed when it is safe to do so. A stop sign may sometimes also be posted where this signal is located. What does a flashing yellow traffic light mean? A. Merging traffic. B. Proceed with caution. C. Pedestrian crossing. D. Come to a full stop. B. Proceed with caution. A flashing yellow traffic light indicates that you should drive with caution. This road sign means A. No passing zone. B. Winding road. C. Pedestrian crossing. D. Low ground railroad crossing. D. Low ground railroad crossing. This sign indicates a low ground railroad crossing. Where this sign is present, railroad tracks cross the road at a steep slope and the bottom of low vehicles may drag or get caught on the tracks. When may you pass on the right shoulder of the road? A. When the car in front of you is turning. B. When the car in front of you is driving too slowly. C. When you don't see any pedestrians. D. Never. D. Never. If you pass on the right, do so only when conditions permit you to do so safely. Under no circumstances are you allowed to drive off the pavement or onto the shoulder. A speed limit is a. The maximum or minimum legal speed you can travel on a road under dangerous conditions. b. The maximum or minimum legal speed you can travel on a road under ideal conditions. c. The suggested speed to travel on a road under ideal conditions. d. None of the above. b. The maximum or minimum legal speed you can travel on a road under ideal conditions. A speed limit is the maximum or minimum legal speed you can travel on a road under ideal conditions. You may drive more slowly than the posted speed, but it is illegal to drive any faster. You must drive more slowly where signs or signs indicate a school zone or work zone speed limit. If conditions such as road construction or bad weather make the posted speed unsafe, drive under the speed limit.
This sign means A. All traffic must turn. B. Turn right at the intersection. C. Parking area ahead. D. Crossroad ahead. Watch for traffic. D. Crossroad ahead. Watch for traffic. This sign warns of the presence of a crossroad ahead. This sign means A. Side road. B. Low clearance. C. Merging traffic. D. Prepare to stop. A. Side road. Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign tells drivers to be aware of potential traffic entering from an upcoming side road. When meeting a car with blinding headlights, you should A. Use your bright lights until the other vehicle dims theirs. B. Flash your lights on and off to warn the other driver. C. Dim your lights and then speed up to pass quickly. D. Look toward the right side of the road. D. Look toward the right side of the road. If a vehicle comes toward you with its high beams on, look away from the headlights and toward the right side of the road until the car has passed. This will keep you from being blinded. This sign is used to warn drivers about A. Upcoming intersections. B. Road construction. C. An upcoming curve in the road. D. Changes in traffic lanes. This road sign means A. Side road. B. Keep to the side indicated by the arrow. C. You may drive in the left lane. D. You have the right of way. B. Keep to the side indicated by the arrow. This is a, keep right, sign. It indicates that a traffic island, median, or barrier is ahead and that drivers must keep to the right of it. What does a single dashed yellow line separating traffic mean? A. Drivers may pass if it is safe to do so. B. Both lanes travel in the same direction. C. Drivers may not pass. D. Drivers may pass, even if it could be dangerous. A. Drivers may pass if it is safe to do so. Yellow lines separate traffic moving in opposite directions. A single dashed yellow line in the center of a road indicates that vehicles traveling in both directions are permitted to pass. Drivers may only begin a pass if they will not interfere with any oncoming traffic. This road sign means A. Increase your speed. B. Railroad crossing ahead. C. Intersection ahead. D. Four-way stop ahead. C. Intersection ahead. This sign means that you are approaching an upcoming intersection. Watch carefully for cross traffic. What are the colors of warning signs indicating upcoming hazards? A. Black letters or symbols on a white background. B. Black letters or symbols on a yellow background. C. White letters or symbols on a blue background. D. White letters or symbols on a green background. B. Black letters or symbols on a yellow background. Warning signs that indicate approaching hazards are usually yellow with black lettering or symbols. Warning signs in work zones are orange with black lettering or symbols. This sign means A. No right turn. B. Keep right. C. No U-turn. D. Left lane must turn left. A. No right turn. Regulation signs regulate traffic speed and movement, displaying rules which drivers must obey. This regulation sign means that right turns are prohibited.
you need to use extra caution when driving near a pedestrian using a white cane because a. he or she is deaf b. he or she is a police officer c. he or she is blind d. he or she has poor balance c. he or she is blind when driving near a blind pedestrian who is carrying a white cane or walking with a guide dog, you must slow down, yield the right of way, and then proceed with caution. Be prepared to stop your vehicle in order to prevent injury or danger to the pedestrian. When a stop is required at an intersection and no markings appear to indicate a stop line or crosswalk, a driver. A is not required to stop. B. Is required to slow down to make sure crossing traffic is clear. C. Should stop only at a place where they can see at least 200 feet on either side, even if they have to enter the intersecting roadway. D. Should stop where they have a clear view of approaching traffic before they enter the intersecting roadway. D. Should stop where they have a clear view of approaching traffic before they enter the intersecting roadway. If there is no stop line or crosswalk, you should stop at the point nearest to the intersecting roadway where you can get a view of approaching traffic. You should not enter the intersecting roadway to gain a better view. The sign with this shape and color is a fill in the blank. Sign. A. No passing zone. B. Wrong way. C. Railroad crossing. D. Stop. A. No passing zone. Pennant shaped warning signs like this are only used to indicate a no passing zone. When traveling on a multi-lane roadway with traffic moving in opposite directions, how should drivers use the shared center lane? A. To pass other vehicles. B. To slow down or stop before turning left. C. As a through traffic lane when traffic is moving too slowly. D. As a parking lane. B. To slow down or stop before turning left. The only time a vehicle should enter the center lane is at a point where the vehicle will have time to slow down or stop in order to make a safe left turn maneuver. The center lane should never be used as a passing lane or as a through traffic lane. If you miss your exit on an interstate expressway? A. Stop and make a U-turn. B. Get off at the next exit and come back to the exit you missed. C. Roll down your window and ask the driver next to you for help. D. Back up on the highway. B. Get off at the next exit and come back to the exit you missed. If you miss your turn or exit, do not back up or try to turn around on the highway. Go to the next exit and safely turn around. Unless otherwise posted, the speed limit on freeways with paved shoulders is a. 20 miles per hour. b. 30 miles per hour. c. 45 miles per hour. d. 65 miles per hour. d. 65 miles per hour. Unless otherwise posted, the speed limit on freeways with paved shoulders is 65 miles per hour. If a different speed limit is posted, you should follow that speed limit. Passing is prohibited? A. On hills and curves. B. At intersections. C. At railroad crossings. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Locations where it is unlawful and unsafe to pass another vehicle include hills, curves, intersections, and railroad crossings. This road sign means a. Sharp turn to the right. b. Double curve. c. Winding road. d. Pavement ends. c. Winding road.
This sign indicates that the road ahead winds with a series of turns or curves, 